may I just introduce the first talk so we'll be on time. Yeah. So Dr. Neeraj Israni is going to present his innovation on something he's called storm. I hope it's not desert storm or something like that. So, but it's instead it's a slit lamp assisted toric marker. Good morning. So uh, my topic is slit lamp assisted toric marker. The authors have no financial interest in this presentation. Presenting to you a novel patent pending slit lamp based toric marker. There have been various innovations in axis marking right from the anterior stromal puncture, the pendulum marker and the bubble marker. On the other hand, automated markers such as the Varion, the application based marking and the Callisto image guided system are also there but however they are very expensive. Manual handheld toric markers invariably give us a picture like this which is completely off the axis. So we had a research question. Can we actually innovate an economical, accurate, stable and easy to use toric marker? We took inspiration from the Goldman's Applination Tonometer which goes and indents the cornea of the patient and the patient is not hesitant at all. We decided to use the calibration slot which is universal in every slit lamp for our slit lamp based toric marker. This was the first hand drawn diagram of our toric marker. We further started doing 3D printed models. As you can see the 3D printed models became bulkier every time. Thus we finally settled with a shaft within a shaft that is the IV stand design. Now coming to the first prototype of our device. As you can see we have implanted it into the calibration slot of the slit lamp. With the help of the knob of the slit lamp, we move it ahead, it goes and indents the cornea at the desirable axis. Again with the knob, we take the slit lamp behind and it comes back to its original position. Now the final prototype consists of a dial with a shaft made out of stainless steel. The dial is rotatable 360 degrees and has a atraumatic edge. On the other hand, the adapter or the body of the toric marker is along with a plate to accommodate a levelometer called as the bullseye levelometer. This bullseye levelometer makes sure that the toric marker is perpendicular to the table of the slit lamp. Storm is now published in Indian Patent Journal and is in the final stage of hearing as long as the patent is concerned. Thanks to Epsilon USA, we have now come up with the final product. As you can see, the final product is made out of extremely lightweight aluminum and the marker is made out of titanium with very precise and sharp edges. The same procedure is done again where the marker is placed into the calibration slot the bubble marker makes sure that the storm is perpendicular to the slit lamp table. The toric marker is then fixed using the screw as you can see and with the help of the knob of the slit lamp, the marker can be taken ahead or behind and as you can see we mark the toric marker using the blue ball pen and the eye is indented beautifully and the patient is very comfortable as seen over here. This is how the marks appear on the eye. It not only leaves a mark but also slightly indents the cornea at that particular axis. Thank you. <clears throat> we have, yes. Uh, thank you, Dr. Niraj. I have told the judges. Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Niraj. Hi, Excellent. sir. Good morning. Uh, excellent presentation. Thank you so much. And uh, only thing is, uh, I just wanted to know, we need to apply topical drops because yes. otherwise it will be painful. Yes. So, and the uh, markings that are done. Hmm. It's possible, just like uh, 
when we apply net patient has slight hesitation slight movement yes. could be there so maybe that is when the oh, slit lamp it. comes into play, sir, because the patient is much more comfortable. We can also strap the band. We can make sure that the lateral canthus is aligning with the uh, slot of the slit lamp. And uh, normally when we mark with a needle, the patient is a little scared. Yeah. So in this case, also, uh, like you said, a drop of paracane, just a slight bro elevation. Yeah. And uh, we don't even need to use because now what Epsilon has come up with uh, is a much smaller dial. Okay, so fine. it goes and marks and the, the atraumatic edge is pretty much ahead. So it actually goes and just touches the eye and slightly indents the cornea also. Yeah, that I agree with your principle. My concern is there may be a variation of maybe two, three degrees that would be there. Patient could move. Still, he yes. has uh, Still, yeah. I, I have done a study and compared it with Varion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is a two degree, a 2.07 degree least there. deviation. Yeah. But still, as comparable to an uh, anterior stromal puncture or a ball pen marker, the ball pen marker leaves a very thick mark. So that itself leaves a three degree or two and a half degree variation. Yeah. So otherwise, yeah, congratulations. Thank you, it's sir. A good Thank device. You. And uh, has it been, uh, I mean, uh, you have now the prototype as well as the one ready for sale. So it's the final, it's available at the it's stall. It's available. Yeah. Yeah. And in addition to you, are other people also uh, using it? I mean, do you have uh, some other yes. I have sent it endorsements? To, yeah. I have sent it to three very high of? volume high volume surgeons. Okay. And uh, we are you collecting a case series for around 300, 400 patients, which oh. will be published very soon. So far, what has been the experience of... They are very happy. Uh, there is one high volume surgeon in Jalgaon who is operating and uses this almost in all his toric yeah. cases. And his results are very good. Very sorry. Thank you very yeah, much. Congratulations. Thank I, you, ma'am. Thanks. I really would be obliged. We stick very uh, strictly to the time because in that manner, we then only will be ready to go for the uh, GBF. They'll close all the halls. So exactly two minutes. Sorry, judges.